Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and it is a beautiful, bright, sunshiny day here in Oklahoma. No rain. <sighs> We've been getting so much rain lately, it's ridiculous. But it's cold. It's about 30 degrees this morning. I'm gonna come out to the high tunnel. It's with the sunshine and the, the clear skies like this, even on mornings like today when it's 35 degrees, it can heat up in here in the greenhouse really fast. And I'm not kidding, it can be say 45, 50 degrees outside and by about noon or one or two o'clock, it'll literally be 95 or 100 degrees in here if I keep everything closed down. But I'm gonna come out, we're gonna be out of town most of the day today, I'm gonna be gone. So I'm gonna open some vents, open up my low tunnel because I don't want everything to overheat in there. But guys, this low tunnel has been working fabulously. I don't know if you've followed along with the process, but Houston and I built this little low tunnel out of PVC pipe and Agrabond fabric over our raised bed here inside the greenhouse. So there it is, a very crude, simple, easy to build, fairly inexpensive low tunnel to add an extra six to eight degrees of frost protection to our crops through the winter. And uh, it's, we're, <laughs> I'm just blown away at how, how well it works. This little thing was very easy to build. Not a whole lot goes into it, but it really does make a huge difference. And I've told you guys since I built this first, since I first built this greenhouse, I need a way to monitor the temperatures in here. And I know, I've told you guys, having the greenhouse saves me three or four degrees of frost protection. And then I told you having the low tunnel back here with the Agrabond fabric over the top of it would save me five or six degrees of frost protection so we could get lower and lower in the temperatures at night and still have frost protection. But I've never really had a way to prove that to you guys. And even just to prove it to myself, I wanna monitor those things. So I've been debating and debating and looking and shopping and looking and shopping. And I finally just bit the bullet and settled on a thermometer system that monitors everything and I want to show you guys that system today. So basically what I bought is a Wi-Fi controlled um, thermometer system. So it comes with a module that goes in the house that plugs in that connects to my Wi-Fi service, our internet, and then it comes with two little control boxes. And here's one right here. I keep one inside the low tunnel and then I just have one sitting on the shelf over here inside just inside the high tunnel here so here's what it looks like just a little sensor i just leave it on the shelf kind of mid-range i don't want it up too high because i want an accurate reading i'd try to keep it sitting up there where it's shaded it's not getting direct sun and i've been just super happy with this little system i will uh i'll show you some pictures and show you just to back up the data so what's cool about it is it has a app on my iPhone, it's called GoV. Let's see, G O V E E Home, GoV Home, and they have a lot of other oh gadgets and things that you can buy. The company sells all kinds of lights and things and party lights and stuff I'm not interested in, but you can control it from the app. You can turn your lights on and off, which may be you know something to look into for for seed starting or something, but for the the little thermometers and the temperature sensors, I guess, I don't know what you call them, here in the, in the greenhouse, it allows me to monitor what's going on out here. Because, guys, I'll admit, I can be lazy. <laughs> I, can, I can forget to come out here and open this thing. Well, with it being on an app, I can set alarms. So if it gets over a certain temperature, It'll send an alarm to my phone, and I, even if I'm not home, I can be like, hey, honey, can you go outside and open a greenhouse? Because I totally forgot, and it's 105 degrees in there. So it's kind of an extra precaution there. So probably what a lot of people want to know, does the low tunnel actually make a difference in overnight temperatures? Yes, it absolutely does. And I'll show you pictures on the screen just to prove it, but let's just look at the last 24 hours. So in the last 24 hours, I'll put this up on the screen. Our high temperature inside the low tunnel was 80 degrees and the low temperature was 29 degrees, okay? That's inside the low tunnel. 
inside the greenhouse, just inside here, the high temperature was 85 degrees and the low temperature was 22.8. So as you can see, the low temperature inside here was what, seven degrees colder than in there at the exact same time. You can see it on the chart. The high temperature spikes, the low temperatures go down. The low temperature inside the low tunnel stayed seven degrees warmer than in here. So that's seven degrees of extra frost protection. Now it got down below freezing in there, but you gotta remember the frost comes from the dew. So we got moisture in the air, builds up. Obviously the humidity is very high in here as you could also see on the graph, it monitors the humidity. But so we can get frost inside here, but then inside the low tunnel, that Agrabond fabric offers another layer of protection from frost. So it does make a difference. Now on the flip side of that, if you're not careful in the, in the daytime when it's a bright sunshiny day like this out here, we got very few clouds in the sky. There's some light clouds, but the sun will heat this plastic up. It'll heat up this greenhouse very, very quickly. Cloudy days, it doesn't get near as hot, but on a sunshiny day, clear skies, it'll get extremely hot in here very fast if you don't open up the vents. So inside the low tunnel, that's extra heat that gets trapped in there. So if I don't come out during the day and take the top off the low tunnel sometimes, it may be you know 90 degrees in here, but 100 degrees inside there. So this little thermometer system gives me the control to monitor that stuff from my cell phone wherever I'm at. I can at least just, you know, maybe at work and I can at least look at my phone, pull up the app and say, okay, it's, oh, 42 degrees outside, but inside the high tunnel, it's nice and warm in there at 78 degrees. Leave all the vents closed, everything's fine. Days, you know, I kind of watch the weather and look ahead. Days when I know, hey, it's gonna be 70 degrees outside, I'm gonna go ahead and come and open the vents anyways. I'm not gonna wait for an alarm, but if I forget, ding, my phone says, hey, it's getting hot in the greenhouse. Send somebody out here to open the vents, so. So if you're in the market for a system to help monitor your temperatures, whether it's in a greenhouse or in your shop or whatever it is, it monitors temperature and humidity. This is the home module that goes inside the house. Just plugs into an outlet. You sync it to your, your uh, Wi-Fi on your home Wi-Fi system and it sends out a signal. I mean, I was skeptical. I didn't know if it would reach to the greenhouse from, from my house. I mean, we're a couple hundred feet away, so we're not up close to the house. I was like, eh, I don't know if this little thing's gonna have the strength to push it out, the signal out to here. Supposedly it'll reach 300 feet. So plug this in in your house. You've got a 300 foot radius around your house. I haven't really tested out the distance, but it works fine for me. So I'll leave a link in the description down below. I just bought this on Amazon. It comes with the home unit that plugs into your wall and two sensors. And I'm sure you can buy more of the sensors and add to your system if you need to. I don't have any reason to add to it, but you know, there are other ways or other options you could use something like this. It would be a good idea if you had like a, a freezer in your shop and you wanted to monitor that and you didn't want, you know, say your freezer quit on you, it would send you an alarm if it dropped below or above a certain temperature for that. So, you know, there's other options if you don't have a greenhouse. But anyways, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Bought this on Amazon. I think it's like, I don't remember. I want to say 80 bucks or something. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember. I've had it for a while. I've been testing it out. So, but uh, anyways, I uh, I really like it. Like I said, it's called Go V G O v e e and uh it's working great for me i like it well guys that's all i've got for today hope you enjoyed it listen hey I'm, i know this probably isn't something that everyone needs but if you need a way to monitor t monitor temperatures from things around your property or in your house or whatever it is from anywhere in the world you can do it over wi-fi send you a little detailed graph you can break it down all that stuff so go check them out go v i'll leave a link like i said to amazon description box down below I don't know. If it's something you need, go check them out. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.